Hey, welcome back on this Tuesday morning. So for the month of September, we typically can expect almost four inches of rain. Uh, the data is right around 3.9 inches of rain for the average and even a little snow. On average, we get about a tenth of an inch of snow in the month of September. I hate to say it, but that's what the data shows towards the end of September. There is that possibility. We start off the month of September with high highs or average highs in the lower 70s and we end with average highs at around 60 degrees. Average lows start off in the lower 50s and then we drop about 10 degrees down for the average lows into the lower 40s. As far as record highs and lows, that was 95 degrees not too long ago, in fact last year, and then a record low of 20 degrees and 61. We continue to lose daylight in the month of September as we head towards the vernal or the autumnal equinox that is a uh, sunrise time is 632 to start off and by the end of this month we're looking at sunrise times later and later in the morning at 747 sunset times at around 730 so a lot of changes happening in the month of September. It's uh, one of those transition months as we head towards the cold half of the year. Now today feeling like summer mid to upper 70s and interior areas with lower to near mid 70s along the shorelines of the Great Lakes. Our overnight lows for the most part will be in the 50s tonight lower to mid 50s and then tomorrow a little bit more toasty for our interior areas with our highs reaching into the lower 80s again in those interior spots towards the west end of the UP some lower to mid 70s along Lake Michigan. We'll have a prominent southwesterly wind flow tomorrow, so that'll keep things a little bit cooler along Lake Michigan. However, it'll be a breezy one. In fact, wind gusts of around 20 to near 30 miles per hour early on in the morning, but ranges of around 20 to 25 throughout the day tomorrow. So a touch breezy for Wednesday. Here's what's happening in the jet stream. Big Ridge moving in overhead for a couple of days with that warmer air. This trough starts to dig in for the second half of this week with a frontal boundary closed off area of low pressure, bringing in some unseasonably cooler air and more inclement conditions for the second half of this week. Our frontal boundaries over in western Canada right now, we have high pressure at our surface, giving us the clear skies and the dry weather for today, extending through tomorrow. So the next round of rain coming in on Thursday. This is early Thursday morning. That frontal boundary bringing in a line of rain, showers and thunderstorms starting around mid morning across the western areas of the UP, pushing towards the central counties early in the afternoon. This is 2.30 exiting Thursday evening out of the eastern areas, but behind that we still have a little bit more spotty lake effect rain as it is going to be a little bit cooler than normal. Rainfall amounts between Thursday extending through Sunday because we still have opportunities for rain on Saturday and Sunday. We'll have ranges around half of an inch to about an inch to an inch and a half. Highest rainfall amounts expected across the eastern areas of the UP. So we still kept some rain chances in for Friday. Spotty rain on Saturday, spotty across the eastern UP on Sunday. We're heading to the pitcher's mound up next in.